Hey there, welcome to another video on Samsung One UI and this time we are looking at the Samsung Bixby button remap option. With the release of Samsung S10 and One UI update, Samsung now allows users to basically remap the Bixby button to launch other app, any app including third-party apps installed on your Samsung Galaxy device. Of course, you will be able to use Bixby voice assistant as well, but now you can also use the Bixby button to launch apps with single or double Bixby key press on your S8, S8 Plus, S9, S9 Plus, S10e, S10, S10 Plus, Note 8 and Note 9 devices. But it doesn't allow you to run Google Assistant until now. Thanks to Tasker app and the developer, now you can actually run Google Assistant with Bixby key press. You can choose between double or single key press. For instance, I have enabled the single Bixby key press here. And so when I press the Bixby key just once, the Google Assistant comes up. And here's how you can do this. To start with, update your Bixby apps from My Galaxy Store. Update all the Bixby frameworks uh, which are required by the Bixby to their latest available build. Then you have to visit a link which is given in the description and join the Tasker Beta Tester program. Use your Google account that you use on your Play Store. Then all you have to do is tap on app link which is Tasker and then tap become a beta tester. Then go to Play Store, install the Tasker app. Tasker is a paid app and it totally justifies its cost. You can do a hell lot of things and automate multiple tasks on your Android using the Tasker app. But more on that in some other videos. For now, let's join the beta program and then exit the Play Store as well. Now open the Play Store again and update the Tasker app to the available beta version. This will install these two apps, Tasker and Tasker Secondary. Now you have to go to Settings, Advanced Features and tap Bixby Key. Set up the Bixby if you haven't already and once you are on this page, tap double press to open Bixby because we want to keep single press event to run Google Assistant. Now tap on Use Single Press, turn it on and then tap Settings here beside Open App. Choose the Tasker Secondary app from the list and then go back and open the Tasker app. Tap the plus icon at the bottom and then choose Event. Tap Tasker, tap Secondary app open, tap back button and then tap New Task. Or you can add a new task from the bottom also. Enter a name, it's optional. So I will just tap on the check mark to proceed. And then you have to tap plus icon and this time search for voice command. Tap on voice command and select it, tap back key and then tap play icon. Choose Google Assistant and then tap always. And that's it. Now you can use the Samsung Bixby key press to launch Google Assistant with a single press. You can change it to double key press as well if you want and it's possible due to app developer and it was indeed a must needed feature. So thanks to Samsung and the Tasker developer. So from now on, I can use the Google Voice using the Bixby key press and I can also press and hold to use the Bixby voice assistant and I can double press the Bixby key and it will take me to the main Bixby page or the card view. So from now on, I will be able to quickly control my lights and my home automation device, which I created a few months ago. The video is on my channel, so you can watch it with single Bixby key press, which makes it very easy and effortless. I don't have to say, hey, Google now. Now you can also program the app to launch any other task other than the Google Assistant and uh, choose any event on the Bixby key press events. By the way, if you are facing any battery drain issue on your Samsung device after updating to One UI, watch my other two videos where I've discussed the solutions to fix the battery drain issue. This was all in this video guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, please hit the thumbs up and do subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. I'll be back with another video soon. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.